Hey, what's up? I'm Brock. Tay's inside here working on the trailer and I got the honors of doing the intro for this video because as you'll see, I didn't do as much work as maybe I could have to help out with renovating this trailer. But in this video, we're gonna show you the renovations we made to the trailer and specifically the new custom tables that we built. And I say we loosely because it was mostly Tay and her mom and her dad, not so much me. <laughs> so the first thing we did when it came to build a table was go to a local wood store. And I just walked around and I didn't pay attention to price or weight. Just let myself kind of gravitate to whatever my eye caught. And I started to notice a trend. I noticed that I really am drawn to walnut. So once I figured that out, I started paying more attention to the walnuts and I found one that I like. You have to be a little bit cautious when you're picking the wood because it's gonna look a bit different when it's wax. It'll likely get darker and maybe a little bit more golden. Then once we did that, I picked the wax. I went with a clear wax since walnut is a darker wood. But if you're going with a lighter wood like pine or maybe maple, you could definitely do a darker wax or even a wood stain and that would change how dark it is and maybe go with your theme a little bit. You could do something like polyurethane, but from what I understand that chips a little bit more and it's all up to preference, but I would definitely recommend going in person and looking at how the wax has changed the wood and what polyurethane looks like and just doing your research. We picked out some oversized larger wood planks and placed them next to each other to kind of curate planks that looked relatively similar so that the table looked more like one big piece of wood. Then once we got home, we decided how many planks we wanted to use on the table. I wanted the least amount of seams possible, so we went with four planks, about six or seven inches wide, and the length of the table, which ours was 26 inches long. We also sanded any imperfections um, that we noticed, and there were some imperfections that could not be sanded out. We marked those with some tape, so we used a biscuit cutter to cut holes for the biscuits, Filled those holes with glue as well as all of the edges. We glued them together, clamped them so that things stayed very tight. We used a rubber mallet to make sure that everything was flat and even, and then we let it sit for about 24 hours. And we did a rough cut of all of the edges just to get an idea, get rid of most of the excess wood so that we could go through with a router, cut the true edge that we were gonna have for our table. After we went through with the router, I sanded it again with 200 um, to get out any imperfections, excess glue, anything we missed. After that, I double checked it. I did any hand sanding that was needed for extra areas. You'll notice that I'm drawing on the table and this is so that I can keep track of where I already sanded. After I sand, the pencil marks will go away and so this just ensures that I'm sanding it evenly. I would definitely recommend doing that if you ever sand anything. Once the tables were done, I went in with with a coat of wax. Two coats, you really should be good. You can always add more wax in the future. The most important thing with the wax is to apply it evenly and not too thick. You want it to soak up well enough that you can buff it after. When you're buffing, it'll start to get shiny and that's how you can tell that it's getting buffed and it'll feel soft instead of tacky. It'll feel very smooth. I also did the bottoms just because those will also get wear. So protecting your tables from the beginning is really important. These are what the finished tables look like. We did our front table and then we actually created our own template of the back table because we wanted it to be larger instead of the two small pieces that it previously was. Thanks so much for watching. As you could tell, I had a big role um, in helping out making this trailer. Make sure to give Tay and her parents a thumbs up and a job well done in the comments because uh, they deserve it because this was a lot of hard work, um, but I'm pretty happy with how this turned out.